sneak crew. This your boy Reggie J. Sneaks coming at you guys today with a new video. We are outside of Burlington. I'm gonna go in here and check out the sections in this store. If a section don't make the video, that just means there was nothing worth tipping in that section. But if you guys are new here, I like to go ahead and check out the clothing, shoes, as well as socks and slides. If you guys are into any of those things, make sure you guys go ahead and stay tuned and do me a favor throughout this video and get down in the comment section down below. Let me know what you guys like from today's video. If you guys are also new here, don't forget to go ahead and subscribe and have notification bell set to on so you guys don't mention I'm dropping a new video and what I'm dropping. But with all that being said, Sneak Crew, let's not waste no time. It is the weekend, and as y'all can see, as many cars pulling up in here, this store is probably going to be loud and packed, but we're going to still go ahead and see what we can get into. So in the meantime, between time, let's going to get straight into it. I'm checking out what has they got out here in Burlington. Um, this quarter away, you know, Prevent Wildfire hat is really clean. This one's sitting in here for eight bucks. Got a Blackhawks hat from Chicago, you guys. $8 in here too. What kind is this in the back? Uh, this is a Chevrolet hat. This one is going for $7. Archer Game Bull hats. Y'all know we've been finding those all over in different styles. You got the gray gray and black one here. You got the red, black, and white quarter warrior uh, Archer Game hats. Do go for 40 bucks retail, but y'all know if y'all been watching the videos, Burlington only selling for 13 bucks. That's always a steal. If you guys looking for some good hats, make sure you guys go ahead and do so. Now for me, I like to go ahead and get like, you know, the Archer Game ones. And, I mean, not the Archer Game ones, the, um, Metro and Ness ones, but I still want to show y'all every a little hats that's in here just in case somebody want to see something that maybe I don't want to pick up. Um, I still show y'all maybe y'all want to pick it up, but it's a lot of hats in here, but nothing too crazy. Like I said, they ain't got no more Metro and Ness like they used to have in Chicago. So when the time of fall is on its way, so I know most likely these uh fitted hats as well as um snapbacks are gonna probably end up disappearing and we probably gonna start getting a lot more scarves uh you know scullies and all that type of stuff but that's pretty much gonna be the hat section i really don't see too much more so yeah once it gets closer to winter time this is more stuff y'all gonna start seeing y'all can already see they got ultra game ones in here too and they also they just got more of the nfl hats for the bears as well to come with the gloves and stuff too but a lot of this stuff gonna be start popping up over here in these stores because you know we get real real cold out here in chicago so you gotta keep warm but a lot of these hats still sitting over here too uh, let's see what they're going for right now. Oh, eight bucks, same thing as the fitted hat. So that's pretty dope. And let's see if the, what the price point is on the ones with the with the hats and the gloves. So the hats and the gloves is 13 bucks and then just regular hats is just gonna be um, 13 bucks. And they, they do got 47 brand Bears hats in here too, but those are gonna be for $15. But that's gonna be the hat section. Um, let's go ahead and jump onto a different section to see what they got over there because they don't really have too many. Now, now we're over in the men's section, starting off in size seven, working our way up to the bigger sizes. Um, the first thing we're going to find in the men's section is going to be these dark martin boots size seven for 70 bucks trey young's out here too still sitting over here in burnson for 35 bucks they got that same colorway another one pair there they even got the knockoff version of those adidas slides or shoes or gym shoes whatever y'all want to call those these are going for just 20 bucks but that's because they're the knockoff version i can see how light those are the other ones that we do run into them while we out here at this burnson i will show y'all but if y'all been watching my last previous video, I kind of showed y'all the difference between the knockoff version as well as the Adidas one. But um, yeah, they got Fila shoes in here for uh, $18. Donovan Mitchell. And as y'all see, man, look, we went, went to plenty of stores out there in Texas. And once we back over in Chicago, barely can touch these Burlington shoes out there. Since going going off, but y'all see these got the Trey Young's in here too for 40 bucks. This one looks like it's a little more on the, on the low type of uh, style, but this one is in here. It does come with a different pair of laces as well. And this is gonna be the Trey Young one. So this is the Trey Young ones. That one down here is gonna be the Trey Young twos. And I think we see the Trey Young threes um, at another different Burnton or Ross, but we haven't been out here sourcing our stores in a minute. So we gotta get back to our normal schedule program. But y'all see they got some more bands in here for 20 bucks. Reebok, Adidas shoes, I mean, Echo shoes. I'm trying to show y'all a little bit more because I was getting messages about people asking me to show y'all dress shoes. Which I don't know why they want to see dress shoes in here because, like I said, um, to, when I told the person too as well, Burlington and Ross don't really have high end um, dress shoes to catch on steals like we're trying to do for the gym shoes. Because I feel like with the gym shoes, you're trying to get like you know seventy, eighty dollar pair of shoes for pretty much what fifty bucks. That's not gonna happen. So that's why I'm like um, dress shoes kind of hit or miss. So that's why I'm like a lot of people were saying. I mean, the person was telling me to show dress shoes more, but as y'all can see. It's just Guess and Kenneth Cole, and those ain't really high-end um, dress shoes. I feel like I feel like uh, Nordstrom Rack and all those have like 
high-end um, dress shoes that you can get for like a good price point. I mean, yeah, sometimes they still be on the higher side, but for the retail compared to what they're giving to you for, it's obviously going to be on sale. But once again, this is why I don't show the dress shoes because they don't really have anything that's like, oh my God, let me see some Kohans or like, you know, a good uh, high-end brand in here for like 15, 20 bucks. That's never going to happen. Not saying never, but as of right now, we haven't seen any of that happening. So that's why we don't show you all the dress shoes. But if I do come across any high-end shoes, I will put them on here. But besides that, Reggie ain't putting no uh, dress shoes on here. So sorry about that, man. If you came to the channel to try to see some dress shoes, it's not going to happen. Like I said, I just want to show y'all like gym shoes and higher end price shoes that y'all can still come out here and save some money on and, you know, come out here and find some, you know, steals and deals. But getting back into the, the actual stuff that we normally get into, which is going to be the shoes. Um, you guys can see I got some more basketball Trey Young twos over here in that multiple colorway. Y'all know what they go for. We've been seeing those all over, even out of town. We've seen those as well. Y'all also got these Adidas shoes over here too. I don't know what these are called, but these are sitting here too. High top got the little strap in there on here as well. Got some not uh, not a chuck shoes still over here as well on clearance for twenty six dollars. But what I was trying to tell y'all earlier, but that that sensor was kind of still going off and making it too loud. Is we went to multiple stores out of town, y'all. I brought y'all with me. We then picked up shoes. I even dropped shoes off camera, and the sensors never went off. I don't know if it's just my Burlington's over here, my area. Y'all let me know if the Burlington's in y'all area. Y'all can barely touch the uh, sensors, and they go off. Because as y'all see, I just pretty much went like this to the shoe and then the sensor went off like i don't know <laughs> or what kind of sensors they got on these uh shoes out here but as y'all see man it's still got the same type of stuff we've been seeing since we've been gone more trey young's same same stuff sitting around they do have more shoes i would say but it's still pretty much the same type of things as y'all know we've seen these when we're out of town as well so i guess my stores out here in chicago got these as well and if i do sound a little weird i am Still look adjusted but i'm not i don't have a cold or anything anymore but you know my voice is still coming in and out but it's still pretty cool i still ain't gonna let the grind stop because i'm a little under the weather so hopefully y'all go ahead and bear with me with my voice so once it gets back up i lose it during the video y'all know we had to do voiceovers but man so far so good with my my cold like i said this was uh a lot of change in the weather for me going out of town coming back in town going right back to work you know the weather going from you know 70 80 degree weather in texas to 60 50 and raining over here in chicago so i was kind of bound to get uh sick and i only get sick once a year so i'd rather just take it now than take it later so it is what it is but let's go ahead and keep on going down y'all let me know if i'm passing up anything but i don't think we are so far i feel like i've seen show y'all a lot of stuff that we already either been seeing like the Trey Young, I can still see it more at the bottom. Y'all see these reboxes that we've been seeing all over too. There are a lot of sizes of those in here too. We already over here at size nine and a half. And I'm still not seeing anything too much crazy besides these Timberlands though. These Timberlands look crazy. I only got the suede on suede. Um, these still going for 60 bucks, actually cheaper than what they go for uh, what we found out in Texas. I think in Texas they were showing that the six inch Tim was going for 70 bucks. But this one's still pretty clean, red on red. Once again, not my size, I'm a size 11. This is a size nine and a half. We keep things moving after finding those Timberland boots. We're gonna keep going down. Once again, I'm in size nine and a half, working on my way up to size 10. Um, y'all let me know if I'm passing up anything. I just wanna show y'all the whole rack. Y'all let me know. More Trey Young's over here. Um, y'all got the, like I said, Champion shoes, Pumas. A lot of like nine name brand shoes down here. Champion shoes here. These are not Timberlands, so don't tell me I pass up on some Timberlands because those are not Timberlands. I think those are all of those uh, X ray shoes, uh, X ray boots. I've been seeing a lot of those in here. Up here as well, y'all just see I got the Rocker Red boots. So, like I was saying, it's not really nothing too crazy still sticking out. Um, I wonder once I get over to the bigger size if we don't see any more like Retro Fours or Retro 13s or any other Jordan silhouettes in here still sitting around. But y'all see so far what's still sitting around in the store. Here got some slides over here on the side. Nothing too crazy on the slides as well. And now we over here to size uh, 11. And then let me see what they got. Yeah, Just seeing these cleats over here. These are pretty cool too. For just 20 bucks, size 11 and a half. All white, got the iridescent on the uh, Adidas sign. Milky uh, soles, some more Adidas sneakers up here. So they got some different ones popping up. I never seen these before. Seven and a half should probably been down there in the smaller size, but they got these over here. Maybe somebody decided to put those back. They probably wanted to take them at first and then put them back. They also got the cleats over here too, the alpha ones sitting over here on the shelf. 
and then they also got some rbx here's those ugly gilbert shoes y'all know we seen these at the dick sporting goods seen these at ross so these shoes are starting to pop up all over the place um different colorways but once again these shoes are ugly and we're gonna put these things down because i do not want to hear another sensor and uh come on don't you go off okay he didn't go off he listened oh, come on dude we ain't trying to hit this in the video man you know what I'm saying? Sneak Crew is not trying to keep on hearing these sensors go out every time we in these stores. But like I said, we still over here in 10 and a half, working our way down. More Trey Youngs right here. Here's some Adidas Boost, as y'all can see in the back. But the cleats, white and gray. Got the, uh, you know, silver tips at the bottom. And these are going for just 20 bucks, size 11. Sitting over here, they got some more of the Trey Youngs over here too. But this is going to be in that pink colorway. And y'all know this is breast cancer month. So this is pretty cool seeing these in here as well. And then, y'all, man, look, we went to a lot of uh, burn since while we we're out of town. Maybe it's a Chicago thing, but Retro 13 is still sitting over here, too. Uh, this one still is a big size. They're still going for 100 bucks, um, as y'all can see right here on the bottom. And then right there, y'all can see, too, this one's going to be at size 18. I'm not sure if y'all can see that in time, but like I said, Jordan 13 is sitting over here, so maybe it is a Chicago thing. I don't know. Um, those are still sitting, though, sitting in here. But they still have, we still haven't found them in like another size besides size 16, 17, and 18. I haven't seen them smaller than that. Um, I think we've seen the 14 on the um, retro fours, but that's about it. They also got these Adidas shoes in here, come with multiple pairs of laces, and but they zip tie the laces to the shoes so they might can take those off. And then they going for just 30 bucks, um, size 11 and a half. Things moving, we got some more Nike running shoes here, but they do not have the equipment in them. Size 11, these are for track and field, but those don't have the uh, spikes at the bottom. But we're gonna still keep going. We're in size 11 still, but we're on the opposite side because behind me was 10 and a half and equaling it to 11. They do have some more Trey Youngs down there. More of those same running, uh, Nike running shoes that's on Christmas, was 52 bucks. They also even got some more Timberland uh, boots in here. Um, but the six inch is wheat. And this one right here, 10 and a half for 80 bucks. So you see what I'm saying? These are 80 bucks. The other ones was 70 or 60 bucks. So it's like, I don't know why the price point is all over the place, but they got these boots in here. And these are the terminal ones. And if I'm telling y'all, if y'all find these, even if you don't live in a state where it's snow, make sure y'all pick them up. Cause like I told y'all, y'all can sell them to people in New York, Chicago, whatever, but y'all you know, like most boots do go for like, these boots normally go for like 150, 125, depending on the size or whatever. But on a high end, high end point, I think I haven't bought no Timberlands in a while. So they probably know them like Jordans or whatever. They probably almost up to the 200 bucks right now. I wouldn't be too surprised, but make sure y'all go and pick them things up. Cause like I said, I know it's not winter time yet. But when one of the time get here, them boots gonna be gone and everybody gonna be wishing they came to Burlington to pick them up when they see them for 80 bucks. So I know once I find some in my size that I like, I know I will go ahead and pick some up. But as of right now, I haven't found any in my size 11. So we just gonna go and keep on pushing. Y'all see we got some more cleats, Trey Young shoes up here. And like I said, they do have a lot of boots and shoes in here on the uppers or stuff like that, but they are not name brand. They just got a whole bunch of different type of styles of boots from U.S. Army to all different type of brands. So like I said, if you don't care about the brand, you can actually already know kind of burden to me. Look, here goes some boots right here. Boom, 30 bucks. You got to go outside to like, you know, casual places. You ain't got no, no dress shoes, but you want to still look a little, you know? So you can get something for 30 bucks. You got to go to Aldo or go to uh, Zara and stuff like that and spend like 80, 90 bucks on some uh, dress shoes. You know what I'm saying? Come out to Burden to Ross and to get that same type, of, same type of stuff. You know what I'm saying? So this is pretty much what I'm still find out over here i think we are already size 12 already too so not really seeing too much more different from the set that we was finding before but let's go ahead and get over to this last section in this next aisle and now sneak cool we down to the last section for the men's shoes so it's gonna be size 12 all the way up to size like 17 18 and i'm already seeing some uh, more retros but we gonna get into those later on once we get down there to those shoes but y'all also see they got the you know nike running shoes still on clearance 32 bucks it was originally 70 so that's a good price point for those more trey youngs more issue fours y'all know we've been seeing these in a lot of different colorways as well as the trey youngs more of those popping up as if it bees not as many as we see in texas but those are there as well more of the trey youngs down here and y'all got the Fila shoes sitting over there for everybody like those. Trey Young tools down here as well. Puma sneakers, more Puma sneakers. Got the Echoes as well. Still sitting around. And then like I said, you got the, some Adidas shoes, the Exhibit Bs. Here's some more James Harden shoes. And these James Harden shoes are on clearance now for just 30 bucks. Size 17 though, big size though. The Las Vegas uh, colorway on these, but that's that's a big size, but that is a good store, a good price point on those. 
forum loads. Y'all know we've been seeing these over at Texas as well and, and over here in uh, Chicago at multiple of our stores that we go to. So those are sitting around still at multiple stores. We got the superstars sitting around as well. We've seen these are at different stores in Chicago as well. And then we got some all over silver or gray Adidas shoes in here. Not really sure what these are for. I don't know if they track or they're lifestyle sneakers. If y'all know more about these, let me know. Let me see if I can check the tag and see if they let me know. Oh, skateboarding shoe. So this is a skateboarding shoe. Um, y'all can see it's for males, nine and a half. That's a style code y'all wanna look it up for. And then that's that shoe in here as well as they got some more Adidas shoes in here too for baseball. There's one for $20. More of those issue fours in that same color we seen earlier. And then as we keep on going down, oh, 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 let me, let me, let me go back. I almost forgot y'all. Y'all see it? Now, y'all remember we seen the other one earlier. That one was going for a hundred. This was on clearance for 75. This was a, a size smaller, size 17. The other one's an 18. So some of these are going on clearance. Should we pick them up? Should we not pick them up? Y'all let me know, man. Y'all let me know if y'all picking these things up, even though they're on clearance for 75 bucks. Um, I'm not sure if they still selling these at the outlets or what, but let me know y'all, man. They in here on clearance now. And then if y'all want to really be honest, I'm kind of jumping the gun because we ain't go right here yet, but here's one here, another one there. So it's actually still three pairs of these shoes still sitting around, even though they is on clearance. So let me go on ahead and keep on getting this video done, and then I'll come back to those later on. And then as well as we keep on finishing off the men's section, you got some more as we goes down here, size 11 for 40 bucks in that gray, um, gray colorway. Um, that retro 13 thing is pretty crazy because once again, this was a size 18. This one's still going for 100 bucks and the other one's a size 17 going for 75. Y'all still let me know if y'all pick any of those up. And then they also, um, got, and they also got just some uh, T-Max in here, two size 11. These are going for 30 bucks. We've been seeing this one around in Texas and Chicago as well. So that's pretty much gonna be it over here in the men's shoe section. Let me know what y'all like from this section. Um, let me know if I should keep on showing the dress shoes. If y'all wanna see stuff, let me know all that stuff down in the comments down below. Let's go ahead and jump into another section right now. Sneak crew, now we over in the clothing section, starting off in the uppers. I will not be showing those shirts because there's no more shirt season over here in Chicago. So if y'all looking for t-shirts and tees, we will not be doing that. <laughs> We're gonna go straight to like just the hoodie section and see what they got sitting over here. Um, and then we'll just work our way down to the actual sweats as well. But as y'all see, man, we just got some Adidas uh, hoodies in here. This was 95 bucks, hey, 95 bucks for this hoodie. Don't even really know what's really going on with this hoodie. 20 bucks, that, that's what they want for it. There ain't really too much going on. Y'all know, you know why this hoodie so much? Let me know. Once again, that's the uh, sweatshirt right there. Say for basketball, it's 95 bucks. They only want 20 bucks for that one. Bears, as well as the Walt Disney, Walt Disney World uh, hoodie in here. Also got some Bulls. Miami Bucks, similar Wolves from the Ultra brand. So it's not Ultra brand, they just keep on uh, updating all their clothes. And person with jerseys, then they went to t-shirts and then now they already got hoodies and jackets made for stuff. So um, if y'all like that brand, make sure y'all go ahead and pick it up. Buy what you like, don't buy what everybody else get. And I know a lot of people always uh, message me too on Instagram or in the comments sometimes on my videos and be asking me like, why don't, um, why I only show certain things or why I don't show them what I pick up because I only show what I like to pick up. I like to show you guys what's out here in the market and y'all decide what y'all like to pick up. I mean, I like to go ahead and just do that because I know a lot of people can be like, oh, well, Reggie said, this is what's selling right now. But yeah, I can be into Jordans, which I am. I could be like, it's like we can do that for example. I'm into Jordans. So obviously for me, when I'm looking out here for stuff, I'm looking at Jordans, Nike brand stuff stuff like that because I already know what that price point is on those type of clothing. Now, maybe some people probably be big on soccer. So when you come in here and you see like, you know, Nike, Nike stuff that's for soccer, you know, okay, hey, I already know how much that stuff go for and they only sell it for blah, 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 blah in here. Okay, then yeah, then you know to pick that stuff up because you're already into that item and rather than you picking up a whole bunch of soccer stuff and know nothing about soccer and then now you stuck with that stuff because you don't know the seasons or the team or what team is good and what team is bad and this, this and that. So like, I always tell people just about what you like, but for me, if you're on my channel or you're watching my videos, I just like to show you guys what's out here so you can kind of see, okay, cool. Reggie go out here every other day. So if I go out to these stores or my stores, I can probably either find the same items or around the same items. And if you enter the same stuff that I do pick up and say, hey, get this item. Hey, look, this item is mixed tags. You guys would be surprised at the DMs I be getting of people showing me like, hey, look, I went out to this store and found this because you showed me or I seen that they was mixed tagging things and look what I found that they missed tags and what, you know, and so forth and so forth. So just like now, like we use this for example. Here's a Nike hoodie, right? 52 bucks. Y'all see it's, it's for football. Obviously, right? I know a little bit about football. 
So I know, okay, this is a college team. But say you didn't really know nothing about football, don't pick this up because then you won't even know, okay, what if this team is good? What if you don't know if this team is bad? Then you still can look it up, which is by this style code right here. And then you guys can still put it on eBay, Macari, whatever, and then see what everybody else is selling for. But that's just more of a, if you have the time, then do so. But for most people that's out here sourcing and trying to, you know, flip things or trying to find stuff to, you know, resell, they already know what they come in and look for like now, like with me. I would know this, just seeing this Nike SB tag, this is a good thing to get rid of. And then on top of that, it's a Nike hood. Then this white, just plain, simple, black and white. Y'all see it, it's 25 bucks. They originally go for 65. And like I said, you just want to check the market. And if you don't know what the market is, you always put in the style code. Even if you know what you're doing, and even if you don't, you always want to put the style code in because you want to see what everybody else is selling it for, then you just do that. But that's just a little, you know, tip in between while we out here sourcing still, rather than y'all just hearing me tell y'all what's sitting in here. But I always get those messages. I always get people telling me, oh, what you pick up or, Oh, I see you post pictures on your Instagram or post videos, but you never show what you pick up. Yeah, because if I do decide to pick up something, I'm picking it up because I feel like I can get rid of it. Or I already have certain people hitting me up like, hey, Reggie, if you see this, or hey, Reggie, if you run into this item, hey, can you, you know, throw the assist and you already know me. I don't mind helping anybody out. That's the whole point of me even doing this whole YouTube thing in general, just to help people, you know, save money and, you know, get some fly, you know, fly clothes and, you know, still for save a whole bunch of money while doing so. So like y'all can see this another Nike hoodie right here for extra large size seven, I mean for 70 bucks to $25. And then like I said too, and as well too, another thing is you can also, you know, pick up things for the personal. Cause as y'all can see, man, say you just need a hoodie or say you need a little, you know, you know, like a little outfit to go out, but you didn't really know that Ross and Burlington got the, you know, the SB hoodies or just hoodies in general from Nike brand. And now you just went to Nike to just bought these same hoodies for $65 and you could have came into Burlington and bought it for 20 or 25 bucks. So that's the only other reason why I like to do this stuff. Cause like I said, I know a lot of people, um, you know, got families and stuff they got to do or bills. And you know, I know stuff is still going up in price. So if you can save a little money, but still get Jordan brand stuff for 30 bucks rather than actually paying $70 for it. I'd rather y'all come and do that rather than, you know, saying, trying to show y'all, hey, well, let's go to Ross. Let's go to the mall. Let's go to the stores in the mall and just go ahead and show y'all, let's go ahead and buy this and buy that. Like, I can easily do that, but now nah, I'm more for helping people out because I already know when times get hard and how stuff is and when you still got to, you know, mouths to feed of, you know, families and all that stuff. You know what I'm saying? You ain't really trying to dish out no $70 for no hoodie, but I mean, hey, you know, that same 70 bucks. So you got 70 bucks, now you come over here and you can still buy two, three, four hoodies for the 70 bucks rather than just buying that one. You know what I'm saying? And as y'all can see, man, they, they still got good hoodies. They got good, like, you know, clothes and sweat stuff too. So you just got to come out here and look. And once again, what I always tell people too is like every store ain't going to always have um, stuff in every store. So you just got to shop around. You know what I'm saying? If you got the time to shop around in multiple stores, do so. But for me, I just like to show y'all all what's in the store. Um, while I'm in here, rather than going to multiple stores, I just like to go ahead and, and go to one store and get get in, get out. If there's nothing in there, then I let y'all know, hey, I ain't find nothing. And if y'all find, y'all feel like all the stuff that I'm looking at is not good, then that's up to you too, to each his own. You know what I'm saying? Everybody's different. But I mean, I still, like I said, it's like showing y'all because I like to go ahead and help people save a lot of money. But um, we are still going through the hoodie section. I'm already over here to uh, two extra large. I'm still showing y'all what they got going on here. Y'all let me know what stuff y'all like so far that we already went through. I might have seen nothing too, too crazy to be like, yo, y'all should pick this one up. But I mean, there's still some good things sitting around on the shelf. Um, but I feel like the most stuff that you could probably find right now out here where I'm at, it's probably gonna be in the coat section because the coat section be having that stuff out here in Chicago. Cause I ain't gonna lie to y'all, um, going in the coat section, I'm saying like four, five hundred dollar jackets, going for the like eighty bucks, seventy dollars, sixty dollars, and it's like, think about it. I gotta tell y'all, y'all can easy go in here, buy a eighty dollar jacket that really retail for like four or five hundred dollars, and now y'all just save all that money on the jacket. You just have to make sure you find your size and everything. But we're not going to none of these t-shirts because once again, the t-shirts they have in here is just like real, real basic t-shirts that we already be seeing uh, multiple, multiple times again. And like I said, it's not really that time of season out here in Chicago. So I know you're not gonna really have too much. It's pretty much gonna be a lot of that stuff that they're trying to get rid of from the summer and uh, springtime. So that's why I'm just gonna go ahead and jump over to another section. So if y'all ready for another section, make sure y'all go ahead and let me know what y'all think of the video so far down in the comments down below. I asked me, so the only thing I found over here in the men's section from the coats was this Jordan uh, vest. It was going for they was going for 120 size large, and they only won 40 bucks for it. This is how I looked at it. And this whole 
Um, if y'all want to see more of it, make sure you guys go ahead and check out the thing. But that's pretty much all I found over here in the whole coat section. So I guess the coat section, people been uh, peeping it because it was no Nike jackets, nothing like that. I might need to go ahead and check out the women's and all that stuff. But that's pretty much the only one I found in this whole coat section over here. But I'm going to go ahead and jump into another section. If not, I would just go ahead and end the video off. All right, so now we're over here in the women's uh, ladies' shoes. We're going to go through them and see what they have sitting over here. Uh, you know, we see some Reeboks. Uh, more Reeboks even in the low top and high top form. Y'all know y'all got the casual boots for the girls out here. We are back over here in Chicago, so you guys won't be seeing so many uh, cowboy boots and all that stuff, but they do got some grand heels in here, all pink on pink. 27 bucks, size five, sitting over here in the women's section. Dark Martin boots on clearance over here. 40, $46 instead of it being uh, 40, uh, $65. Still keep going down. Let's see if I'm passing up anything. Let me know, sneak crew. Let me know, let me know. But I don't think we are. I do see some uh, solutions down here. And this uh, baby blue, yellow, and white colorway. This one's 60, I mean, a size six and a half. Um, this one do not have a price tag on it, so I don't know what these are going for. But these are sitting over here too. And we'll keep things still going down in the women's section. Let's see what else they have sitting over here. I wonder if they're gonna have uh, any retros and stuff over here for them girls. Um, because I know we only sent the retro 13s over there in the men's, but they were on clearance. Well, at least some of them was on clearance, but um, y'all let me know, man, would y'all still pick those things? And if y'all guys haven't, uh, let me know already down in the comments down below on those retro 13s being on clearance. Um, I think that's still a pretty good price point, even though it is on the bigger size. Like I said, I mean, you guys probably won't uh, sell it really, really quick unless you guys know um, anybody personally that wears a big size that would need some Jordans. You guys can go ahead and hit them up. Or if you guys don't, you guys can always, you know what I'm saying, sell them online. People do still buy bigger size. They do take a little while to sell. But the only good part is basketball season, all that stuff is uh, starting back up. So, you know, people will probably be in the mood to actually purchase more basketball shoes right now but as you can see you got some Nike slippers in here too $26 um, we'll put those back down we don't want that uh, alarm going off over here in the women's section but um yeah um don't ever be too scared to you know buy bigger size shoes um they do take a little bit longer to sell but they still will sell because like I said if they make them in that size somebody in this real wears that size so you just gotta go ahead and make sure you guys go ahead and check the comps check the uh style code in the back of the tag of the shoe to go ahead and know what they're going for so y'all can go ahead and see um, if it's worth picking up like these right here you guys know you guys can look at that style code right there ct 1290-600 put it into wherever you guys like to go ahead and sell your stuff from and then we'll let you guys know if this price point right here is a good a price point to buy these at or not or if it's selling them because sometimes you'll be in the store whether it be a resale store or it could be ross or burlington and y'all know if the shoe is uh is that price point is good you guys can always check out like i said ebay macari goat stock x if you know want to go ahead and check and see what a shoe, a shoe is going for and see okay hey maybe i can buy it cheaper on stock x or you know another site rather than actually buying it here or maybe you could probably be saying like dang okay Burlington got it in here for a crazy still of a price because on ebay or whatever they got it for this price point or vice versa so Make sure you just guys go ahead and do your research, you know what I'm saying? And like I told you guys earlier when we were uh, going through the clothing, make sure you guys just go ahead and buy stuff that you guys know about so you guys can go ahead and, you know, have more of a passion for it rather than just not just buying things because you see a lot of people picking things up. And uh, yeah, man, you never know. You probably find some gems or maybe you guys probably just won't. It's always hit and miss when you go in these stores sometimes. So that's why I always just like to go ahead and let you guys know beforehand. If a section will make the video, that just means there was nothing worth taping over there. And like I said, I don't mind still showing you guys what's out here because I know I haven't really got really in full detail showing you guys the stores that I'd be shopping at because I've been like, you know, out of town and been just running around. So you know, we gotta get back to our regular schedule program. I have been dropping a lot of more videos recently, so hope you guys been uh, enjoying that, as well as uh, showing up on my social media, showing some love over there as well, if you guys uh, haven't already. You guys already know, everything's at Reggie J Sneaks. That's TikTok, Instagram, everything that you guys like to use, is gonna put in Reggie J Sneaks, and y'all know I should pop up. But so far, I ain't gonna lie to y'all, the women's section ain't really got nothing crazy or nothing like, you know, standing out too far. Um, since we're already at size nine and a half, actually. So we pretty much almost done with the women's section. I think the women's section at Ross go up to like size 11. Yeah, yep. We're already over to the last aisle. Y'all kind of can see it already. We're already next to the clothing. Um, I already kind of see some 
down here, but I know that I'm supposed to be in the women's section. We'll get more into that uh, in a few. But as y'all can see, man, it's just it's still the same thing, still sitting around. The Nike uh, Zoom X shoes, Exhibit B's, and more Exhibit B's. Y'all see another pair of Exhibit B's, the fluffy uh, chunk closet and everything. Um, but if y'all already see, um, y'all can still see the Air Jordan 4s are still sitting around. Even though this one is a big uh, size, um, these are sitting here. I don't know what they go for because y'all can see there's no tag inside of the shoes or on here at all. It could be on clearance, but most likely looking at the sizing, it's most likely a size uh, 17 and 18. Let's see what they are. Those would be a size eight, uh, 17. So 17 Air Jordan 4 is still sitting in the crash. Still sitting around over here at Burlington as well. But once again, I just was out of town. And I didn't see no craft or no Jordan other 13s uh, or 4s sitting around at any other uh, Burlington. So maybe it's just a Chicago thing. But they also still have these Team Jordan shoes in here too for 70 bucks in this pink colorway um, on the back wall as well. Y'all got some more Grand Hills over here. I'm not sure if we've seen this colorway before, but this colorway is sitting here as well for $27. And yeah, man, that's pretty much going to pretty much be it for over here in the women's section. So let's go ahead and jump over to another section. If not, you guys already know. Stay tuned because I will be ending the video off if we do not find anything else. And since we're back in town, you know, we got to go ahead and check out all the sections um, in this video. So we're going to check out the kids real quick. Y'all see they got the Trey Youngs down there. They got the Oswegos. Oh, no, that's a different shoe. That's the name of right here. That's the style code. Y'all see five and a half or 30 bucks. They got a lot of those. I can see them all coming up down there. More Trey Young Spider-Man shoes. Speaking of Spider-Man, y'all know the Spider-Man game just came out. If you guys got that, let me know as well. I'm still thinking about pop copping that one as well. Just I really don't have time to be playing my PlayStation 5, but um, I need to go ahead and get back to doing so. But uh, Spider-Man just dropped, so those shoes are sitting here. That's pretty cool. He had the other ones as well, the Trey Youngs. Um, I mean, the uh, Don Issue number twos. Also got the Don Issue fours down there. More of those same shoes again. They got the Oswegos down here as well. Another Don Issue four right here as well. In a different colorway. And they got, actually got that one right there. And then another one. So they got a few of those in here as well. They got these Nike sneakers sitting around. Seven Youth. These are all white on white. Going for just $27. Let's see what else we got, y'all. Y'all see anything else? I'm passing up. I don't think they got the rain boots up here. More of those Spider-Man shoes down here as well. And then they also got the Jane Harden shoes over here for the breast cancer awareness. They got the pink on pink, four and a half. Going for 35 bucks as well. Got the Adidas shoes in here too for 25 bucks, size two and a half. Um, Puma house slippers. As well as they got the... Uh, Puma shoes on there as well as the Nauticals as well. Um, I'm trying to see though, man. Y'all let me know if I'm passing up anything. I don't think so. But the shows is real, like cleaned up right now. Um, so surprisingly, since it is the weekend, but maybe a lot of people have already came over to the uh, kids section. They've probably just been shopping their clothing. Um, but as y'all still see, we got some NMDs down here. We've been sitting around that solar red. They got the question uh, mids over here for the kids as well. But as usual with the kids, they have a lot of a variety of shoes, but nothing that's like, you know, too, too crazy, like Jordans or anything like that. They do have NMDs. They do have, like I said, like a lot of kids' shoes, like the Woody Boots. These are pretty fire. Um, they got like that stuff like that for the kids. But besides that, they really don't have too much. I'm going to go ahead and join some kids on the girl's side and see if they have anything. I'm going to just cut the camera off because I can see uh, it's people over there shopping. So we're going to go ahead and see what they have over there. They don't have anything else. I'm going to just go ahead and cut the camera off and we'll jump over to a different section. I just include some over here in the girl side. Uh, they don't really have any much, but they don't really don't have anything over here besides like a lot of these snow boots and everything for the girls. And you can see they got like a lot of different variety of those all over. Now, one thing I did see that we already see a few seconds ago, which was a whole bunch of NMDs. If you guys haven't uh, checked them on Instagram, I did take some photos, so you guys can go ahead and check that out as well. But look at this. Y'all remember the stack point? This is from Foot Locker. So as y'all can see, Burns to get shoes stretching for and even take the tag off of it. And then y'all can see in the back, Burlington is just selling it for 25, but I feel like it was selling these same size shoes for 60. So yeah, I want to know if y'all getting the steal. There you go right there. And then like I told you, that's right back on the shelf where it was, but that shoe was in here. And y'all also got these same Trey Young uh, ones down here too. Yeah, I know 40 bucks. You've been seeing these around from time to time as well. And they also got the Air Max slides down here too. The Air Max slides is going for just 20 bucks, size five, so these are sitting here as well. 
but that's pretty much gonna be it over here now i'm going to go into a different section so make sure y'all stay tuned for the rest of the video and that's gonna be the end of the video sneak who hope you guys enjoyed this video it was going to burlington checking out the section that we could check out Hope you guys got down in the conversation down below and let me know which item would you guys have picked up from today's trip to Burlington. Um, we found a lot of good variety of stuff in here. So hope you guys did like this video as well as you guys can see we back in Chicago with it. So you guys already know from the touchdown at all my Burlington's, all my Rosses. So make sure you guys have no kitchen bells set on so you guys don't miss on dropping a new video when I'm dropping. But with that being said, Sneak Crew, I'm about to go ahead and get up out of here. I'll see you guys on the next one. So in the meantime, between time, I'm up out of here. Peace.